Hey, how's it going, Geometry Kids? Today we are looking at 7.3, proving triangles similar. Okay, we got some theorems we gotta do. First theorem angle, angle, similarity, postulate. What this states is if you have two triangles and two of the triangles' angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar which means the ratio of their sides are proportional as well as all the angles are congruent okay so s congruent to m r to l srt to mlp okay you only need two angles because if you have two you know the third okay Are these two triangles similar? How do you know? Well, for A, if that's 39 degrees, okay, we know these are both 90. I know this is 51. If this is 51, that's 90. This is going to be 180 minus 90 minus 51, which is 39 degrees. Hence, yes by AA similarity theorem. Okay, let's take a look at this one. This angle 62, this one 68. These are isosceles triangles. So if this is 68 degrees, I know this one's 68 degrees, right? That's 68 and that's 68. Then this guy is well, what's 68 plus 68 is, what, 136? 180 minus 136 is 44. So this is 44 degrees. Well, wait a second. 68, 68, 44, not 62. So no, not all angles are congruent. Okay. Two more theorems coming at you. The first one is side angle side congruence theorem. What that states is if two of your sides are proportional, meaning AB over QR equals AC over QS and the angle in between is congruent then the two triangles are similar okay so side angle side and the last one that's the usable is actually side angle side I'm sorry side 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 which states that if all your sides are proportional then the two shapes are similar okay Again, that says if all the sides of two triangles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. Peace. Peace. No one will be fine. You gotta hold up. Let's see this in action. Are the triangles similar? If so, write a statement and explain how you knew. Okay. So here we're looking at ABC and EFG. Okay. I'm only given side length, so I have to see if they're proportional. So I set up 6 over 8 is my first proportion. And I'm going to go, well, I have another 6 over 8, so I know these ones work. And I, I usually almost always do little over big. Now the last one we'll look at, this is 9 over 12. So, these all equal 3 fourths, right? So they are all true. So, ABC is similar to EFG by we used a side, side, 
side. Can do it there. Okay. All right, let's do another one. I'm actually going to separate these triangles so we can see them. We have AWL and AEC. So this would be a 90 still. AC would be 8 plus 8, which is 16. AE would be 6 plus 6, which is 12. Okay. So let's see if we can't find some stuff. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to start off by finding my proportions. 6 over 12 is one of them. 8 over 16 is the other one that I might be able to find out. And yes, those are congruent because they all equal one half. So I have two sides. Right here, I have an angle, don't I? So, AWL, similar to AEC, by your side angle side similarity theorem. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's finish this piece. Given MP is parallel to AC, prove this stuff. Okay. We're going to do this old fashioned way. Start with MP is parallel to AC by given. Right? I'm going to do this one quick. There's multiple ways to do it. One way is to use vertical angles and use those. I'm going to do this an even quicker way. It's going to blow your mind. <clears throat> Parallel lines crossed by transversal alternate interior are congruent, right? Could have also marked these ones because they are on the parallel line as well. So angle A <coughs> congruent to angle P and angle C is congruent to angle M by your alternate interior angle theorem. Worst one ever. Okay. Now I'm already done. I can say triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle P, M, B by your angle angle similarity theorem. Done. That quick. Oh my goodness. PBM. That's it. That's the proof. Now, let's say they didn't give us that this was parallel. And they said that CA <clears throat> and CB over MB were your two. I'm going to have you guys think about that one. When I come around and check your notes, show me your answer for a prize. Capiche? Capiche. Last slide. Johnny, or Darius, wants to see how high the wall he's going to climb is. So he throws a mirror on the ground, measures how far away he is from it, how far he is away from the wall, realizes that, the, that they're similar triangles. So how high is Darius's wall? <clears throat> we have one angle, we have two angles. So the triangles are similar. So I can set my proportion 5.5 over x equals 6 over 34. Okay, and then I cross multiply. Right? What's 5.5 times that? Where's the calculator? Uh, there you are, you little bugger. Little bugger. Oh, 
Oh, 187, I guess. 187 equals 6x. Where'd he go? Divided by 6. About 31.2 feet. Don't fall, Darius. Bring, make sure you bring safety gear. Okay, that's it, guys.